Hello and welcome to my channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Please subscribe to this channel and also click the little bell to be notified every time I upload. Thank you for watching. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you very much for coming along and joining us today. And if you're a seasoned viewer, well, thank you very much for coming back again. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a few outfits. I haven't done a fashion video um, yet, but a couple of people asked if I would do one. And what I'm gonna do is show you some different outfits on different themes. Things like thrifted, um, high street, online, specific brands, that sort of thing. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you stay to the end because it's not going to be very long and I am going to do six outfits, something like that, including shoes and bags and jewellery, of course. So if you want to see my fashion lookbooks, just keep on watching. So this is the first outfit. This is my thrifted or charity shop in the UK outfit. It's this wonderful lacy Victorian style bolero jacket. It's a sort of dark grey satin with pale grey roses on it and it does up here with a little hook and eye and I just love it. Oh it's got um, braiding down here as well that goes all the way around and just lovely floppy almost new romantic lace and then underneath I have this little lace blouse which is also from a charity shop it's got ribbon on it it's got little buttons here and it initially had sequins on it but they were just Mm, not very nice so I took those off and as you can see it's sleeveless I got this super belt as well which is elasticated and has a nice moon and stars pattern on it and then my favorite little roughly lace skirt I love this skirt so much all the ruffles go all the way up to here and it's not too short. I wear it to work all the time. I just think it's adorable. Um, these skull and crossbone tights are from Poundland, but you're not gonna get tights from a charity shop, are you? And the shoes, I will do close-ups on the shoes because they are asymmetrical. Yes, I saw these shoes in the window of a charity shop on my way to work and even though one's got sort of study things that the laces go around and one hasn't they both have diamantes all the way around the bottom so i snapped them up i took them home and i did my thing with them which i will do close-ups on in a minute so this is outfit number two this is my high street outfit and everything that I'm wearing came from a shop on the high street. I just walked in and bought them. And starting with accessories, these little glovettes, the necklace, the choker, those were from Claire's accessories, as it used to be. Claire's, it's just called Claire's now, I think. And <laughs> I get a lot of stuff in there. Um, mainly around Halloween time, but you know, it's cheap, it lasts quite well if you don't be too rough with it. Um, the belt, well, that is a Primark belt, which I upcycled. I've got a video all about upcycling this belt, which you can um, have a look at, but it's just an ordinary Primark belt. Um, this is a little Primark shrug, I suppose you'd call it. It's not quite a Cardi. It's not quite a shawl because it's got arms and it's a nice lace shrug. The top is a Primark body, a Bardo style body, and it's got little popper features here. They don't actually open, but they look quite nice. And the skirt, this is the most beautiful skirt from New Look. 
it's got one, two, three layers and the underskirt is there but it just, it looks so beautiful and roughly and romantic and gothy and witchy all at the same time and my lovely sparkly glitter almost DMs they too are from Primark a, okay it was the children's department but their children's shoes go up to five and so as I am a five I thought that was pretty cool I've also hung some little charms off the back because they've got like little DM type bits at the back and all in all this is my high street outfit And of course I just needed to put in a mention for this lovely Primark handbag. It's a crossbody bag, it's got little chains here, nice pyramid studs here, big buckle, it's got a click, magnetic opening and closing. It's quite big enough for a phone, some makeup, a purse, keys, everything you need really. And it's of course purple jane by the addition of a couple of spider charms which I will show you in the close-up. This next outfit is made up of things that I bought online. So this beautiful Ouija planchette dress is by Band Apparel and I bought it online a few years ago. Um, it's got this lovely neckline and if I turn around, you can see that that continues at the back. It's got that lovely strapping. Also, this bag is by band as well. Very good. I always call it my summer bag because this is material and I don't like it to get wet in the rain. It's got a nice bony Cameo, I suppose you'd call it here. Lovely satiny material with skulls and curly cues and little tiny skull studs here and here. My own touch on it is I put this little key ring of handcuffs that say Al Capone on them. They came from America. My husband got them for me when he went there with his work once so that's those I think the dress is really lovely it's so easy to wear and comfortable and the boots I got from Koi footwear really nice easy to wear boots not too high lots of lovely interesting things going on buckles studs laces ribbons I will do a close-up of course for you as you can see it's also got a big sunburst on it as well I'll show you that in the close-up too this lovely lovely moon pentacle and bat necklace also comes from an online shop called witches brew crafts it's on Etsy and I highly recommend that you check it out because the things that she does on there are just so gorgeous. In fact, I have just done an order today. This my husband got for me the other Christmas and I absolutely love it. The way the bat is black and silver and you almost don't even notice that it's a crescent moon, but it's just a beautiful thing. And uh, yeah, check it out. This next outfit is comprised of brands that I absolutely love and I'm going to start off with this incredible necklace by Black Witch. I will link the video um, in which I featured a lot of the products that she does on her website but can you even imagine a necklace as gorgeous as this? So black witch necklace. The handbag is a wonderful 
it's got a super sort of click to it and that's by a brand called Chock Goth X C-H-O-K G-O-T-H-X and they have the best handbags that you could possibly ever wish for um, look at this little chain lovely cross lovely um, oh, what are they, little French almost fleur-de-lis things gorgeous snap it's got a short handle it does come with a long crossbody handle as well but I love it I absolutely love it it's my favorite bag I think of all the bags I've got it's my favorite um, and that's not just because they got me to do some modeling for them um, yes yeah, so that's the bag the dress is necessary evil now I got this um, when did I get this quite a while ago and I don't think it looks too bad on me I mean I'm not the thinnest person in the world but even so it it's quite form-fitting because of the uh, material I did sew the little finger loops on myself because although a lot of their things come with finger loops this one didn't but it's a very nice soft thin jersey and of course it's got their um, hook and eye that they have on a lot of their things there so that's a necessary evil feature so this is brands that I absolutely love I'm still wearing the Koi boots because I haven't decided whether I love the brand or not. I just love these boots. And talking of brands, where would we be without Killstar? Well, a lot better off probably. I have heard so many horror stories about Killstar and yet they keep bringing out stuff that everybody wants. And it's really weird because we're an alternative subculture we want to be different and yet everybody wants the same outfits so i find it very difficult to know whether to buy anything whether not to buy anything anyway the two things that i wanted to show you that i do have three things sorry the three things that i do have from killstar are my webutante bag which i had to get because Toxic Tears, that is lovely Kaya, got one and I just fell in love with it at the time and had to get one as well. So I got the bag, it's got beautiful spider web um, stitching on it, it's got the Killstar bat um, and of course a week after I got it the little Killstar tab that, opens, that you pull to open the zip broke off. I've had to mend it with a couple of key ring rings. I got in contact with them and they said, well, you can send it back and have another one or we can send you some compensation. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll have some compensation. They sent me a voucher for nine pounds. How random is that? Anyway, so I thought, well, I'll put it towards something and I put it towards this skirt that was in the sale skirt came couldn't undo the zip it was just literally sewn together sent the skirt back got another one and after that i thought well i do love this skirt it is amazing i mean would you look at that it's just beautiful i thought well i won't buy anything else and then i was with a friend who was wearing the most gorgeous belt with loads of chains and things all hanging off it and i thought i want one of them that was from asos i do believe and i sent off and got one and when it came it just it looked like it had come from aliexpress it, it was it didn't look on me anything like it looked on her in fact she's a third of my age might have something to do with it but hey ho so I thought right I want a belt I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to get the Killstar Curses belt which 
Heavy Metal Mama had um, featured in her History of Belts video, which I'll try and remember to link. Um, and when I saw it on there, I thought, oh my God, that's such a gorgeous belt, I love it. And even though I'm used to buying my belts from Primark, which are, of course, cheap as chips, I did force the moths out of my wallet and order this beautiful belt. It's not leather, of course, neither is the bag. And the chain links need a bit of snipping together, but I think you'll agree it's one of the most gorgeous belts ever in the history of belts. But um, yes, yeah, so problematic brand, Kilt Star. I will just mention these sandals because every time I wear them, I get tons of compliments on them. And I actually got them from Miss Pap last year or the year before. They're sort of almost, um, well, they're not really. I was going to say gladiator, but they're not really. They're just sandals with a shed load of diamante gems on them um and i love them they are a five they look huge but i think i've got very bony feet so uh, my feet do swim in them a bit but i do love them i'll show them to you in the close-up so problematic brand killstar and so my last outfit this is a very casual outfit and it's got the best of all the previous outfits in terms of where things come from so if we start at the top this lovely choker you can buy online from Scarlet in Chains who are an absolutely adorable couple who I met at London Edge and you should check out their stuff because it really is good quality and very cool at the same time also online this bag it's just a casual canvas bag by EMP who are a pretty good company actually they do so much um, I can't even begin to describe how much they do but I've got tons of things from them and of course you can make this um, strap longer or shorter you can wear it cross body and of course I've put various badges and things on it um, big shout out to one of my favourite bands, Grasshopper. You should check them out. Um, obviously Buffy, 2001, Susie and the Banshees, Hello Kitty, um, Sea Shepherd. All sorts of different badges on my bag. And a little heart that I put on there as well. Thrifted this furry gelée i always wanted a furry gelée and they were so expensive to buy so that when i spotted this one in a local charity shop i had to have it i tried to put a little diamante clasp on it um, which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't work depending on whether the fur gets in the way um, but i did make a brooch to go on it so there's that so that's thrifted. Online again, Chavon Le Monnier, this incredible t-shirt. You can look them up on Instagram and you'll see a picture of me wearing this shirt as part of their feed. But I absolutely love it. My husband got it for me for either a birthday or a Christmas a little while ago. But I think it's just one of the coolest t-shirts that I own. High Street. Primark, plastic, PVC, PU, whatever you want to call them, leggings. I bought two pairs so that whenever I do wear these out, I will always have another pair to go to because you know what it's like in Primark. You see something in there, you go back the next day and they've sold out. Also Primark, these um, Converse knockoffs which you can see in my um, gothing up your shoes video i put new laces in them and little crosses hanging from the back and of course drew the graveyard silhouettes all the way around the edge and across the toes so 
I really really hope that you have enjoyed this video I can always do more um, it does take a bit of a while to do so it's a good thing I've had some time off work to do this and it does take a bit of help so thank you again to Mr Jane for doing all the lifting and heavy work on this video and technical standby support um, thanks again for watching and I hope you join me again soon bye for now